Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to my beautiful crazy life. All right, so let's get down to it. I wanna share with you the three things that I learned on how you should act on social media, okay? And what does that mean? What do I mean by how I think on social media? Why I even talk about this? These platforms come about and they're actually kind of confusing because what they do is, you know, you, we, you know, you get on there, you get on Facebook, get on Twitter, get on Instagram, and all these fun ones, even Periscope. And sometimes you don't even know how to use them for your business, right? Or sometimes you just think, you know, you get the wrong advice and people tell you, oh, you just gotta go out there and you just gotta post, 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 share your link, share your link, and it'll all work out. And unfortunately, that's not how it works because we are living in a time right now where everybody is pretty much savvy. Everybody is pretty much informed, especially the people that you're trying to target with your messages, the people that you're going after, right, in your business. So that approach, as you can see, is not gonna give you results. Now, it's funny, I see a lot of people, especially on Facebook, right? They keep posting, they keep sharing their link, they keep thinking like eventually someone's gonna see their post and just join their business and become a massive leader, right? And so what I'm gonna try to do today is I'm gonna give you a little bit of what I learned from this lady. She wrote a book, it's called The Zen of Internet Marketing, of Online Marketing. I don't have the title of the book, but I'll, I'll, I'll post it on, uh, on Twitter so you guys could look it up, because it's actually a pretty good book. And she has this little, uh, uh, little acronym called ACT. All right, and basically what she's saying is that every time you make a post or you make a something online, something special on social media, you should always keep these three things in mind, okay? So the A stands for attention, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna capture your audience's attention. Now, very quick, 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 simple marketing lesson. The best way to capture anybody's attention is to find out what they want and what they need. All right, so sometimes it's gonna take you a little bit to sit here and uh, to analyze your market, to find out who is your audience, to find out who is it that you're targeting, right? And so don't feel bad if you can't get it like that. That takes research, that takes time. I remember once, one guy said once, if you gotta chop down a tree and you had eight hours, spend seven hours sharpening that ax, right? And then just an hour uh, cutting the tree down. And that's what, that's your, that's your research. That's you finding out who's your market, right? Uh, you finding out who's your target audience, whose voice, uh, you know, is uh, gonna, uh, hit, you know, hit more more hearts, right? So, just keep that in mind. Okay, so grabbing attention. Um, usually, what I like to do when I think of trying to grab somebody's attention, I always think back to my uh, email marketing coaches, my email marketing gurus. Uh, they're always talking about how you could do so many things. You know, you could uh, use. Uh, always think of. Always think, number one, think of your audience, right? So if your audience is into uh, the Big Bang Theory, hey, it wouldn't be a bad idea for you to use Big Bang Theory posts, right? You can take pictures of the character, say, hey, if the, this guy was into network marketing, what would he do? Or, you know, and I just say network marketing because that's the niche I'm, the niche I'm in, but it, you could do the same thing for your business. You could do it for anybody's business. Hey, if this guy needed a, a plumber, what would he do, right? And then so you create curiosity just by that because you're tapping into something they like, okay? And um, creating attention, the, another really good way to grab your audience's attention is to uh, stand for something or stand against something, right? So if uh, there's a lot of polarizing stuff going on, if there's a lot of, uh, say, I don't know, there's like a riot or some, some type of social event going on, you could use that. Use that to mix it in with your story, right? And so that's a good way to capture attention, all right? So remember, stand for something or stand against something, neutral stuff really doesn't work, okay? You will find that if you are not offending people or getting some response, you're playing it too safe, all right? So that's my little bit right there. But you got, just gotta make sure that, you gotta picture yourself, right? So you, you're a marketer, right? You're like a person in the jungle, lost at night, and there's a helicopter hovering over you, how do they see you, right? How do they see you? If you're shouting, they're not gonna hear you. You know, so you gotta have a torch, you gotta have like a lighthouse. That's how you gotta think of how to capture attention, okay? So the second step is uh, convert, okay? So what do they mean by converting, okay? So let's say Facebook, for example, right? I, I make a post on Facebook, I share information with people, I share such cool information with people that when they go and they share it with other people, they are, uh, they sound smarter, they look smarter, 
whatever, right? And so, you know, I already gave him something. I didn't even have to buy from me or anything, but I already gave him something, gave him a tool that when they go out there and they use it and they share it with people, it raises their value. They're going to come back to me. You know what I mean? And so that person, I converted them. I converted them from being just a person, a prospect, right? Somebody who happens to be strolling through Facebook, sees my post, right, and likes on it, clicks on it, right? Before they liked and clicked on it, they were just a prospect. You know, once they start engaging, now I've converted them. Now I've converted them to a possible customer or even better, a client, right? So what you want to do is you always kind of want to you know, invisibly keep that little, that, 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 um, that, uh, that path, right? You want that path. You want to keep them bidding up a little bit more. So how do you convert people? You got to give them, uh, you got to give them information that makes them sound smarter, right? You know, you got to give them information that really makes them an expert, you know? Uh, there's a guy who's got a great course, his name is Ray Higdon, and it's called a three-minute expert, right? And basically it's that. You make a three-minute video, when people finish seeing their video, they can sit there and talk about what you talked about to anybody, and everyone's like, wow, I didn't know you knew about this. That's how solid it has to be, right? So you have to always be thinking, how am I gonna convert these people? How am I gonna convert them from prospect to customer, and then eventually the client, right? And, and you know, another little, another little nugget, another little hint, it's all about the needs of your audience. You find out what your audience is struggling with. You find out what keeps them late at night, staring at the wall, not sleeping, you know, Dan Kennedy style. You find out what, 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 what are their fears. You find out what they're going for. You have it right there. That's how you lead them. That's how you, that's how you, you can help convert, okay? And then the last thing that um, this, uh, acronym is talking about is the T is for transform, right? Transformation. Now, uh, it's a little tricky, you know, when you read it in the book, it just says, hey, you know, you use past and present successes to transform. You know, what does that mean? Okay, so basically what you want to do is once you start engaging, once you start helping people out, once they start giving you feedback, you want to get all that feedback and you want to go and now share it with the world. You want to go right now and you want to uh, testimony, right? Because Believe it or not, we still have that hunter and gathering mentality. We still are part of a clan, part of a group. We're still looking to see what our group members are, are if they approve or not, right? And, and don't let anybody fool you. Because even if you no longer are part of the rat race, even if you are emancipated and you're free and you're working on your legacy and your destiny, you still have a group of people around you that you still have to say, hey, what do you think about this? Because remember, nobody makes it on their own. They do, but long term or great legacy, you need a team, you need to surround yourself with smart people, people smarter than you, okay? So, um, you know, we still live in a society that that values testimonies, that values proof, all right? So that's what you wanna do. You wanna garner as much proof, as much testimony that you can get out there, and then you wanna go and flip that, and you wanna use that as your argument, not even your argument, as proof that you, that you do fulfill, that you do deliver, okay? So I want you to keep those three things in mind. I want you to remember, every time you make a post, every time you write an email, every time you make a video, um, Oh, just like they say, you always gotta keep it congruent, right? Like if I'm see if I set up an account on Twitter, say you know for weight loss products, but then you know they go in there and I'm saying, hey, I could I could help you make ten thousand dollars in one month. There's no congruency there. People are gonna be like, what the hell is going on? This is a trick, right? Well, the same thing. You want to also keep your post. You want to keep your contribution to the social media fabric, right? You want to keep that um, always aligned with the act, right? So you always want to gather attention. You always want to get. You always want to convert your audience, right, from one way to another, okay? And then you also want to transform your audience. You want to make them believers, right? Yes, the best is to make people, help people believe in themselves, but for you to first help them that, they first have to believe in you. So first, so so yes, you're going to have to go out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to help some people out. You're going to have to get some good messages sent to you. You're going to have to start, you know, building a following so that you can do that third step. And the third step is the trickiest step, right? The third step is the trickiest step because a lot of people are like, well, I don't like to toot my own horn. Well, I don't want to brag. But if you don't brag, who else is going to brag, right? You're not going to, you can't expect other people to brag about you because sometimes they won't. And to sit there and say to people, hey, please, you know, write me a, write me a review or give me a testimony. 
you could do that and you should always do that, but it's nothing better than something coming from the heart, right? And something coming from the heart is the same way as you're helping them that came from your heart, right? Yes, it's true. We also are here to make money. There's no doubt about that. This is not a lie. This is not, we're not trying, you know, we're not playing magic or smoke screens. Yes, we are here to make money, just like you. When you go to your job every day, you go to make money, right? Okay, well, same thing here. But at the same time, what we're trying to do with this, we're trying to do value based money making scheme, right? Not even scheme, value based money making strategies. Okay, so keep that in mind. The right way to act in your business is to gather attention, to convert your audience and and to transform people. All right, so if you liked what I was sharing, go ahead and swipe up, share it on Android, or swipe to the right, share it on iPhone. And uh, to the two, the two brave souls who are with me, I love you, thank you so much. To the beautiful world out there, look me up, furwealthy.com, F-E-R-W-E-A-L-T-H-Y.com. That's my fan page. If you get to my fan page on Facebook, I got a little gift for you. All you gotta do is throw in your email, and then we can get started, all right? Keep growing, keep sharing, keep loving. I love you all. Keep doing what you're doing because you're doing it right because you're listening to me. All right? Have a great day.